I know you were, um, and this is this is <clears throat> not necessarily giving back, but in terms of you being out there, I know you were um, at some point, and I'm not sure if you still are, an ambassador of the Saks Fifth Avenue, which I think is incredible. Um, also, a a um, a contributing commentator um, with with Fox Sports, with Fox um, and Friends, which I think is just great. So your time is, you know, you're a man who uses every minute of the day. Um, you know, you, you spoke about your, your new platform, um, Big Daddy and Friends. T talk to us about that. You have had a, a who's who of guests join you. Why was it important for you to start that? Well, at first I was reluctant <laughs> because I'm like, when am I going to do this? You know, I'm like trying to figure out the times and whatnot. And at first I did not want to be the producer, put it together and all that. I just wanted to be the host. Well, actually at first I was going to be just the booker, but then I was like, if I'm going to do that, I might as well just book it for myself. So I decided, okay, here we go. Let's do it. And it's basically calling up all my old friends, you know, all my friends, not old, but my friends to join me. And, you know, one of the biggest interviews I had was Andy Reid the week of the Super Bowl. You know, I'm beating the networks to Andy Reid before, you know, I got him before everybody else did. So, you know, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of great feedback. You know, and I've, uh, you know, yesterday I actually interviewed uh, Hisham Tafik, who plays Demby in The Blacklist. So, um you know, that's a change of pace because it's out of the sports element, but he's a big sports guy. And, uh, and I recommend everybody go to www.sportsnut, which is NAUT.com. And you can see all these great interviews or hear them. And we're also on YouTube and uh, we're on Spotify and also on, on Apple. So we're all over the place. And uh, I enjoy doing that because it keeps me, uh, camera ready as well because it's you know you know how that is if you forget if you don't practice your trait or your trade then you forget so uh i've taken a break away from it because i was busy with some other stuff but now i'm back into the mix and uh, it's funny i started yesterday now today here i am being interviewed by you and the rest of the week i'll bring some other stuff coming up and uh and we'll take it from there but it's uh that's been a, a fun, rewarding uh, thing I'm doing with Big Daddy and Friends. And I look to be doing some permanent TV, uh, co-hosting my own show in the fall. On oh, one, beautiful. Yeah, on one of the networks. So uh, that's in play right now. So uh, I just take it every day by day. And, uh, you know, like I said, I thank God I get out of bed and I'm fortunate enough to walk on this planet and and it's about doing the right thing and doing good by people and, and having people, you know, not worship you or anything like that. Just respect what you're doing and, and who you are. Absolutely. Hey, Big Daddy, Rich, I, I want to thank you for your time. I want to thank you for educating our audience. Um, I think that you have taken an industry that is not sexy. Um, you know, people don't just, you know, you, you're not a kid and say, oh my God, I wanna grow up and be an insurance agent. But you've shown when you love to do something, when you just love what you do, so many other doors open for you. You don't have to chase, uh, you know, the most prestigious careers and industries out there. Look where your career has led you. And most people would not think that the life that you have led can come because you just did such a damn good job at your day job. You know, it, 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 you briefly mentioned, hey, my brother is the assistant coach of, you know, with the Buffalo Bills. That's aspirational. People would, everybody wants to do something like that. 
Mm-hmm. I come from the music industry. I come from marketing. Everybody wants to be in the music industry. You're just damn good at what you do. And I, and, and I love sharing stories like yours because it just lets people know if you keep your head low, if you put in the work, if you're willing to put in the hours, it, you could sell shoes. Yeah. It will open up a world that you couldn't even have dreamed of if you are the best at it and you're living your purpose. Would you agree? I agree a thousand percent. I, uh, you know, the one thing I always tell people, even if I won the lottery, I wouldn't know what, even if I won a hundred million dollars, yeah, I'd be ecstatic and whatnot, but I only know how to do one thing and that's work. I mean, that's really it. I, I don't know. Uh, when I was sick with coronavirus, I was in bed and I was just out of it. And, and I was going nuts sitting around a house for four weeks. So I'm not one of those type of people that can do that. You know, I just need to be active, be moving, be running around. And uh, and that's, I've gotten better at picking my spots of where to slow down and, and take a minute to catch my breath. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, what do they say? Motion creates commotion. There you go. And uh, that's my my ending comment. <laughs> I love it. I love it. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, Feel free to share. Peace and love.